Like, love, or hate, I love these comments. Unbelievable. Demarcus Lawrence was, was very complimentary of the Saints' offense. He's not talking about their whole offense. He realizes it's ridiculous. He's saying his job, the offensive line, his job versus the offensive line, his man, he's coming for you. That's what he's saying, mm. and I love that. Listen, it's like in boxing, a lot of fighters are talking tall. You know what Evander Holyfield used to say? What? You're in a fight anyway. Let's fight. What are you talking about? Like all the talking, whatever, you're going to fight in football, you're in a fight anyway. Oh, you're going to give the Saints some extra motivation to fight. You got to do it anyway. And Demarcus Lawrence is saying, I'm coming for you. Mm -hmm. Now, in terms of, I don't even think it's going to be decided on that side of the ball. The real interesting matchup to me in this game is you look at the Cowboys' offense, it's predicated on what when they're going well? The run. Yeah. Well, the Saints have an excellent run defense, except Thursday night defenses get slaughtered on the road, which is where they'll be. If that means that they will be able to successfully run and control the clock, that's actually where the game will be decided. The Cowboys have a shot. But as far as Demarcus Lawrence's comments are concerned, he's saying, look, I'm not talking about anyone else. I'm talking about what I got to do. My man, I'm coming for you. I love it. Keep talking. It doesn't well. really matter um, if I love it. It doesn't matter if Max loves it. By the way, I do. Um, and you're right to Max. What matters is it doesn't take any special genius, Stephen A., to realize this is how you win. <clears throat> this is the only way you win when you're outgunned outmanned, outnumbered, outclassed. Everyone knows how good the Saints are at every level. You're absolutely right, Max. One of the things that's most concerning is, you know what the Saints are good at? Stopping the run. I will say, however, most teams are having to pass the ball to catch up to the Saints' point total. So they're mm -hmm. not exactly running the ball. But when you are outmanned, trust me, I've got a little experience in this stacked deck thing, outnumbered. You have one choice and one choice only. You can go home and run or you can pop somebody in the mouth and go straight at it. Demarcus Lawrence knows exactly what to do. You run into it. <laughs> you give them everything you got. And you know what? If you want to doubt Demarcus Lawrence, good luck with that. Eight and a half sacks, quarterback pressures. They don't call him tank for no reason. Good luck to bouting Demarcus Lawrence. I don't know if it's going to work against the behemoth that is the New Orleans Saints. But I know this. It's the only way to do it. How did, Will, how did you botch that you said outgunned, outmanned, outnumbered? The Hamilton lyric is outplanned, outplanned. Yeah. How did you miss that? You got all, you got all the way up to outplanned and you, and you botched it. What happened? You're more cultured than me. Well, Hamilton was so good. Hunter High School alum, Lin-Manuel Miranda. You, know, you get just, the Broadway just, knowledge I'm, for today. I'm just, <laughs> I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm, just, <laughs> I'm just listening to Will, and he's saying the Marcus Lawrence way is the only way to do it. How about shutting the hell up and just showing up and playing? You oh, can't win that here. way? I'm saying, from you. I'm, not, from I'm you. saying, I'm just saying, is, is, that, is, that, is that not possible? Is that not possible? I mean, you know, Demarcus Lawrence does have to play Thursday night. You I mean, are going against arguably the most prolific offense in football, a guy that's a leading candidate for MVP honors, as far as I'm concerned, and Drew Brees, an offensive line that has done a magnificent job of protecting him this year with weapons everywhere. I... I I, I, I mean, you, you, you know, you're talking like DeMarcus Lawrence, this is the only way? Like, well, you know, it's just a little bit rich. We should probably indulge the moment of Stephen A. Smith telling somebody to stop talking. It's, uh, it's, it's interesting. You know, DeMarcus Lawrence was asked a question. We've had some debates recently about how you answer questions when directly asked. He directly answered it. And Max pointed out, by the way, he spends a ton of time complimenting the Saints. He didn't just go out talking trash. But when answering a question directly, he gave you a direct answer. I have every faith that DeMarcus Lawrence will back it up. And for what it's worth, by the way, I'm not faulting him for it. I'm just saying that I love the fact that he did it because I think it's going to get the Cowboys stomped. That was my and, position. And he also, I'm not faulting him but, for but, it. Will, I just think it's going to get him stomped. Will, he also, or this is really directed to you, Stephen A., but I'm with Will on this one, that he's being asked a direct question about his job. And he's saying, my Punch job is to go after that offensive line. Like, homeboys, I'm coming for you. He's right. How could you not love I, I, that? I, 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 it's a I'm, matchup. I'm saying He's to right. y'all, y'all are missing the point. Y'all act like this is not this is not a conversation uh, uh, about Baker Mayfield talking about somebody's job or anything like that. This is a conversation about a defensive lineman for an inferior team going up against an elite team with arguably the most elite quarterback in the game of football. So we're just basically discussing whether or not this is going to work to the benefit 
benefit or the detriment of that player. And I'm making the claim that this will, DeMarcus Lawrence will rule the day that he opened his mouth. If and it's said that well, stuff. you know what? Because I you think they're going to get stumped tomorrow you're right. night. You're right. That's all I'm saying. Well, you're right. If his man can stop him, then you're right. If he can't get around okay. the tackle, if he can't get through he's a guard, then you're right. But if he can, then he's right. He's telling the truth. It's funny. We talk a big game about liking the truth until you actually hear it. He's telling the truth. It How won't do you impact. know? It won't. Because that's the only way I'm trying to tell you. And he's going to hold up his end of the bargain. He's going to punch the New Orleans offensive lineman in the mouth. And then if he's right. lucky, if he does his job, he'll do the same to Drew Brees. Question. I don't know that he'll get it done. By the way, as long as we're at this, there's question. something else on the – go ahead. Go ahead. No, 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 I said my question, my question – I just want to ask a question. Yeah. So if Demarcus Lawrence comes dead tomorrow night, doesn't get a sack, can't touch Drew Brees, and the Saints drop 50 points, would he be yeah. wrong? He will have failed at the job. That's, that's what, all I'm saying. Because that's what I think is going to happen. It won't make what he said. But it won't make what he said wrong. Okay.